Yeah, uh, we have a different lineup uh, and everything now. So uh, you know, things just uh, kind of changed naturally, and so did you know uh, Mayhem's uh, curse and style also. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, obviously, have a new guitarist and a songwriter. Um, the rest of, of the guys are still there, but. Uh, I would say like uh, uh, Order was probably like kind of blasphemer's uh, best work, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it was very, of course, hard to following up that. So, I mean, we didn't even try to try to to do something like that. But we have a totally different music right now, which uh, uh, is actually better for the current style of Mania. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what was the mindset on the recording of the album? Um, the mindset? Uh, I would say, uh, you know, uh, we really wanted to, you know, uh, didn't want to look at what we had been done before. And, uh, you know, we was just geared on doing uh, something totally new, you know, and we wasn't even looking back uh, at all. But when I listen to it now, there's a little bit of everything in the new album, like, it, even from the Mysterious and the older stuff too, but kind of all everything merged into this new stuff, but still with progression and a direction that is totally, totally, you know. Uh, it, it, it's never intentional, it just happens naturally. Mm -hmm. Like every main record is different <laughs> from the other one, you know, and we just go with uh, what's coming out. And at the end, it's it, it's a main product. It sounds like main, and but we really never intentionally. Oh, now we have to make a strange record, a false record, or something. It just happens naturally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, black metal is uh, that can be <laughs> everything. So uh, back in the days, it was only like a few hand, handful band that actually, but now it's like myriads of different black metal styles also, you know. So what I think, well, I think it's been kind of watered out to something, uh, but it's like this, you know, if, if a guy uh, runs a band and wants to call it black metal, well, then for him it is black metal, you know, so. Mm -hmm. So, but it maybe wasn't the intention uh, in the beginning, but oh. uh, it it will always have something to do with uh, where we're coming from. You know, that's why, for example, Germans or any other country are they are not that good at writing or they try to write so-called Norwegian black metal, but uh, I mean. The, the, the best uh, people to do that would be like the Norwegians themselves, I think. So yeah, it has to look. <laughs> it has something to. to uh, it plays a role of where we're coming from. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay. It's like um, I was trying to make an example here. Like um, <laughs> there's. Uh, not a Norwegian guy who can sing opera like uh, an Italian. Um, the love for the music itself. Um, everything else is um, just something that comes with it. You know, it's, uh, it's for me it was first and foremost the music. Other guys start a band because they want to chase, chase girls and <laughs> do drugs and be lazy. <laughs> 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 for me, it was solely one thing, the love for instrument drums uh, and being in and around music. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, everything what I do, you know, it's like a purpose, even if it's not uh, musical, you know, it's... Um, so, and of course, as a musician, you gain inspiration from non musical things also. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, that could be uh, all, uh, you know, everything actually. So, um, yeah. Mm. That was a really bad.